Hello there and welcome to a new episode of The Power of Surrender with Hugh, where every day we take a card from this deck here, The Power of Surrender. We'll try it the other way around. With Dr. Judith Orloff. And we take a card from this deck every day and talk about it um, for to give you some food for thought and hopefully some inspiration for these challenging times we're living in at the moment. Now today's card is um, Surrender to Setting Limits. So we're getting into talking about boundaries here. Surrendering to setting limits. So let me read what the card says to you here and we can take it from there. It says, um, it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. And let's just take that, that first point there. Because it is, um, and I'm speaking this out of experience and, and having made this mistake many times, you just, you know, if you don't set up boundaries and, and have a, a, like a no, people will walk all over you. Um, and sometimes it's not even something that person is doing intentionally. You give, you actually give permission to people to do it. Um, and I know being, I'm a nice person, I like to be considerate of other people, but sometimes I can be, go too far with that. And sometimes I shouldn't be as kind or considerate with people, <laughs> um, uh, who don't deserve it. So, um, but you know, that's not going to stop me from being nice, but I do think that it is a healthy thing to be able to say, to have boundaries with people and to make things clear to people. This is not acceptable to me. That's, that doesn't work for me whatever way you, you want to put it um, or you know um, if people are, are, are just pushing it a little bit too far that you say no sorry that doesn't that doesn't fly with me so setting boundaries can be difficult if you're a nice person um, but um, but it's very very necessary and, and it's, it's keeping that that space for yourself as well uh, a sacred space for yourself and saying you know I, I can't do that today because I've got some things that I need to do take care of myself first um, so it's making sure that you are uh, still, you know, taking time for yourself. Um, of course, there are times where you, people need your help and you have to give it 150%, but not all the time. That's That would be unfair. So as the card goes on, it starts obviously saying the simple thing that if it's healthy to set boundaries in relationships, practice expressing your needs. And remember that no is a complete sentence. <laughs> I love that. So, I mean, that's that's another thing, uh, I think, in in relationships that can be challenging. Is it telling another person what you need or, or what you expect in the relationship? Um, it's, it's, you know, you feel weird because you feel like you're making demands, but I mean, that person can also say, no, that's, that's not acceptable to me. And this is... This for me is where when when people uh, can get into adult conversation, graceful adult loving conversation, being honest with one another, being direct with one another, it saves so much time and energy. Um, yeah, that's the, like an absolute, like no uh, um, compromise uh, point for me in, in uh, my next relationship will be, it has to be open, honest, direct communication um because uh, yeah it's just yeah it's it doesn't work without it so um you know surrender to, to setting limits i mean it's 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 such an interesting one because it, you know there are so many different um ways of looking at it but i feel like especially when you come down to let's i mean let's be specific about what it says here at the car because i could go off here and onto tangents about other examples but Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. You know, people think, well, you know, if somebody says to me, well, you know, I, I really need, you know, this from you. I need you to be here all the time or I need you to, or whatever it is. Um, uh, you know, she said, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't do that. You know, and, and people are like, oh, I don't want to say no because... I don't want the relationship to end or or for things to for us to fight but but the the, the ability to be able to say no that, that I, that's not going to work what you're saying that you need I, I, I can't give you that and this is why um, and this is where the, the true art of compromise and and again adult conversation um, and why do I keep saying adult conversation um, is because <laughs> Um, when we get emotional and we start name calling and uh, shouting at one another, 
uh, that is not a constructive adult conversation that is going to bring us to any kind of resolution in a situation. So what we're talking about here is the ability to be able to have that direct conversation and say, these are the things that I would like. No, I won't, I'm not willing to do that. And that way people clearly define where they're at. Um, I can think of, um, I'm not going to go into specifics, but I can think of an example of not so long ago where I made this error of not very, very clearly stating um, uh, to somebody that, uh, no, that's not acceptable to me at all, like at all, period. Um, and and part of that is like you're, you're trying to be... Um, you're trying to be flexible, you're trying to be, you know, going with the flow, you're trying to be understanding. Um, but again, you, you have to, at a certain point, draw a line and say, well, I can be understanding, but I can also be honest and direct and say, you know, if that's, that's what you want to do, you, you do you. Uh, because I, that's, I'm not going to fly with that. So, so well, we should look and, and again, no animosity, no bad feelings, just like you've expressed what, what you uh, want. And that's not going to fly for me. So... And that's it, you know what I mean? And, and, and the thing about it is, is if, if only, if only um, the people could uh, really think about this and take it on board because you would save so much time and energy and effort if people were honest and direct with one another and said, this is, works for me, this doesn't work for me. Um, and that's why, you know, you know, it often comes up and it's come up in these cards as well, like why you get together with somebody who and then you're trying to change him to be what you want them to be first of all what are you doing that for like it's not your responsibility to change other people um uh, and it's and it's completely unhealthy and wrong to do um but why don't you just find somebody that you know that whatever it is that is that you're looking for as opposed to trying to find somebody and trying to mold them into what it is you're looking for and so how do you find that person by being honest and direct when you first sit down and say, okay, we're, so we're interested in each other. Okay, so, so, and that's the point where you have these direct and honest conversations and you draw those boundaries and you say, well, these things are important to me and I, 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 you know, I'm putting time and effort into those. I absolutely have time for you and I think you're amazing, but these are things that I have to do. Because what can happen is sometimes a person can, you see, we've all seen this where, a uh, person kind of abandons their life essentially uh, for this new person and uh, and everything is all about that person which is cute and, 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 and nice uh, for, for a while but at a certain point they've abandoned their life completely so if, when that person if that person was to break up with them they don't they don't know where they are they're completely lost because they've completely given up all the, of their own life and time and energy into this new project new relationship um, and so this is why it's so important to have those boundaries say well this is me I'm, I'm good these are the things that I that I do if you want to be part of that that's awesome but these are the things that I that I have to do uh, or that I want to do or that I do um, and so you know this is such an interesting conversation uh, to have um, and I know we all have to make errors and, and mistakes in relationships to learn uh, people can tell us left and right to their blue in the face don't do this do that don't do this you know um, at the end of the day sometimes we have to <laughs> experience it and get it wrong before we, we get it ah oh, that's what they were talking about so um very interesting card surrender to setting limits uh, if you have any thoughts or comments on it i'd love, love to hear them uh, from you and uh, definitely lots to talk about there food for thought and hopefully some inspiration for you um and uh Keep going, aiming for that adult conversation, right? Um, I will be back tomorrow with another card. Boom.